Hey, it's Pasty's Prime here, and welcome back to Stellaris, where we're continuing our playthrough as the XT489 Eliminators. And yeah, we're robots, and we are, I guess, supposed to eliminate things. But we haven't started doing that yet. Early days. Let's get on. Uh, we do have a rivalry. It is time we unplugged you once and for all, XT-489. Uh, we don't know. Have we built? A spy network. No, but we shall. Okay, so they are down here. All right, what, what were we doing? Well, let's get it moving. Special project complete. Okay. After continued starship studies of the massive skeletal remains found on Colador 1, science officer Sofont 3X1 has concluded that the creature served as some kind of organic starship. Much smaller bones from at least three separate species were found within the large larger skeleton and we assume these came from members of the crew for unknown reasons this organic starship suffered catastrophic damage and crash landed on Colador one while we cannot begin to understand the biological engineering necessary to grow a starship like this the study of these bones alone has substantially advanced our knowledge very good Okay. Uh, da, da, da. What did we work out here? We didn't really. We got a side ship going there. Let's go and survey that. You are going to... Wait, where are you going? Oh, you're going all the way down there. Construction complete. Uh, ship upkeep minus 10%. Okay, uh, how are we? Ooh, yeah, we're pretty good. We're going to end up over... Can we cancel those? I really don't want to go over. Hang on a second, see you've stopped. Okay. Ascension. All right. What do we got? Uh... Jeez, we haven't got much in the way of options. I mean, we can go the technological ascendancy. That's always good. Or interstellar dominion. The stars beckon and we follow. May nothing stand between us and them. 
Starbase influence cost minus 20%, claim influence cost minus 20%. That might be a good one, actually. System survey complete. Our detailed server server survey of Historia 3 has revealed that it may once have supported life in the distant past. There are significant deposits of frozen water at the polar ice caps and beneath the planet's surface, the existence of valley networks suggests that the water may once have flowed freely. Terraforming this planet would theoretically be possible, but we do not yet possess the technology. Da 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 da. -da. Construction complete. Okay, so we keep going. Uh, yeah, well, there's a pre-FTL civilization there, so that's probably a good idea. Anomalous surface variable detected. Um... It's easy. Maybe we should just do that. This toxic and way lifeless world appears to have once been inhabited by a moderately advanced pre-space civilization. The ruins of their cities are still strewn across the surface. Right, what have we got? Uh, the entities encountered by our fleet some time ago, a new space-born life forms would seem to be larger than a F XT-489 these space amoeba okay easy prey nah uh let's just go with the study may expedite future extermination a force sure. entity has decrypted our communications okay so you're free hang on do we have any other Is this one here? Okay, let's go with that. Technological acquisition successful. Uh, a survey of Azalea 3A has revealed that it used to be in pristine... Oh, is this terraforming again? Hang on. No, pristine continental moon with a mild climate as little as a thousand years ago. In stark contrast, the atmosphere today is extremely toxic. The surface highly irradiated and the world has long since lost the ability to support life. We have detected signs that the moon was the scene of an incredibly destructive thermonuclear war waged between factions of a relatively advanced indigenous pre-space civilization. Um, hang on. Yeah, we pick that go away. Research. Survey speed plus 25%. Now would be the time if we, yeah. Now would be the time to do that. But then again, so is that. Uh, do that one first, because we're going to get to the point where we're not going to bother with. Why are we losing? Complete. Um. Okay, we're going to build that, and then we'll build an observation post. System survey complete. Hang on. You're doing nothing. Survey that. Survey that. Survey that.
Now, this is where it gets a little tricksy. Now, that's unsurveyed. That's unclaimed. Here's a bit of a cluster here. System survey complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, let's grab that one. Okay. It's quickly become apparent that the so-called P aliens are in fact part of a major spacefaring civilization. Our probes in the Alusta system have detected starships flitting between a number of space stations across the system. Okay, we can nab. That didn't work too well. Just keep at it. So that's over here. Observation in Anomalous surface variable detected. Uh, sure, let's do it. We'll just start getting these anomalies done while we do it. So we've spread a fair bit. We'll, I mean, we'll keep spreading, but. Planetary surface settlement established. Okay, well, conducting surface scans of Red Ore 6. Science officer, so okay, yeah, whatever. And the crew of the 489 researcher discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the planet, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Situation log adjusted. Okay, so these observations, I don't know, else... Okay, fair enough. So we're just going slow. We could go higher, but then let's not. Oh, I didn't realize we could do that now. Um, yes, let's do that one. And then the translate. Uh, we'll research that. Okay. And that is it. Construction complete. All right, governor. Yeah, let's give it the minerals. System survey complete. Uh, yeah, okay, do it. Construction complete. Okay, let's get you now up here. Grab that. We'll just grab it all. For a name, Researcher 3 has recovered an elongated metal box from the surface of Themen 3. Clusters of small perforations on five sides lead science officer to believe it is not a container but some sort of aerosol dispersal device. 
Initial tests seem to confirm the suspicions as trace aromatics still emanate from the object. Special project has been issued to confirm whether this might be an information carrying device constructed by some alien race communicating primarily through the secretion and reception of atmosphere-borne chemical compounds smells. Situation log adjusted. Um, it's F1. I've got to remember that. I keep thinking it's like construction not. complete. Uh, site is present. Have a ship. So, where's that one? Oh, because you're queued up to do the rest. Um. Yeah, we'll we'll come back to that. I think we'll grab these choke points while we can. We can come back and grab these. Hang on a second. We got no housing. Okay, you're going to be out of job soon. You could definitely do with some more energy. Hang on a second. Let's add a cell. Anomalous surface variable detected. Okay, I'll let you do that one. System survey complete. Okay, you're not doing anything. There is a project there. So let's just do the project. We've got another perk point. All right. I think now we go over to Supremacy. agenda available. Ooh, military build-up. What was that one? Remove neg negative traits from ruler and council nodes. Do we just continue? Got 69 months. Maybe we just leave it. We'll come back to that. Okay. But well, we've definitely got capacity now to, I guess, get all of this. Construction complete. The monolith we found on R2717 dwarfs the science ship we sent to investigate it. 
A majestic smooth slab of metal, the once garish pigment patterns on the front have been reduced to mere flecks. A small power outlet on the machine's side promises its secrets will be unveiled in exchange for a modest sum of energy credits. Activate the machine, or best leave it alone. Let's activate it. The machine stirs ancient mechanisms clanking behind the smooth facade. After much whirring, buzzing, and a dramatic pause, a metallic panel slides back and a ship-sized cylinder rolls out of the machine. The cylinder contains a liquid mixture of sucrose, citric acid, complete. I didn't know playing. and other biological compounds. Our science units believe it to be a nutrient substance made by and for carbon-based beings. Further studies will hopefully provide more clues pertaining to the biology of this lost race. Ah, uh, okay, so you're finished, so you're going to go there. Oh, let's do that little upgrade there. What is happening? Right, so you're still coming over there. Got ships there, ships there. Right. Special project complete. Science Officer K68 has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered on Reda 6. The text contains a staggering amount of data, and the mural evidently serves as some sort of low tech library. It describes in broad terms the collected technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy some 80 million years ago. A lot of it is already known to us, but the data does contain several promising leads for technologies we have yet to consider. There is enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades, but we will need an orbital research facility to continue the translation efforts. They are inferior. Mm hmm Now, here's the problem. You want to make claims... What? We have no need to claim the systems of organic filth? What? What does that mean? Do we just kill them? Oh, really? Okay. Um, did we get something? No? Okay. What are these guys? That's us, you idiot. These guys, they're equivalent. Okay. Yep, we haven't got that upgrade yet. Um. Hmm. I'm tempted, but if I do it, I'm going to do a save. That is just the rules. <laughs> uh, okay, so you are doing nothing. So let's go and do... And that says alien system, alien system. So somebody else must be in there. Okay, let's go survey that one. 
Yeah, somebody must be in here. All right. I'm going to bring ships there. Ships there. Now, if we want to destroy them. Preparation. We can only be described. What can only be described as a dimensional portal have been discovered in a remote location of Vilth Prime, where the prediction algorithms notice a strange air current, which was eventually determined to be caused by the slight leakage of atmosphere into the portal. The rate of loss is far too small for it to make any difference to life on Vilth Prime. The very existence of this portal raises some disturbing questions such as where does it lead to and could something come through the portal from the other side? Situation log adjusted. Where's that one? Vilth Prime. That's... Hmm? Oh, I don't really know. System survey complete. Construction complete. Monthly influence, 0.50, or resources from jobs, 2.5%. I'm going to take the influence. Construction complete. Alright. Uh, the P aliens appear eager to establish communications with us, having sent a large audio and visual transmission that appears to offer the key to translating their language. We will surely be able to communicate with them soon by importing this data to our translation subroutines. Of course, we will have to trust them that their offered translations are sufficiently precise for us to accurately praise them. How na naive of them? Raining tuberans. An accident occurred while collecting live samples from planet Avaconia 4. Due to a miscalculation, our drones were equipped with tractor beams of insufficient strength. Instead of acquiring the specimen, our drones only managed to lift them in the air and drop them to the ground shortly after. Some of the specimen ended up on top of buildings and trees, baffling the locals and giving life to all sorts of weird theories. Ah, uh, amusing. Keep going and distribute the footage. Fix the tractor beams. Well, 
could buy. Planetary alert, blocker expunge. Sure, research it. Construction complete. Ah, uh, we are lacking a little bit of alloys. The asteroid around Volma 4 has such a perfectly stable orbit that it's easy to understand why our science units thought it was placed there artificially. Yet there are no conclusive indications of any propulsion systems or any other artificial marring. The only natural conclusion is that, by some absurdly improbable chance, the asteroid got caught in Volma Falls gravity field. We have also detected some rare crystals on the surface of the asteroid. Nice. System survey complete. Okay, how are we going with our ships? Okay, we're not really making a ton of money, so it's hard to buy. Okay, so you have finished. All right, you go and do the project. What's happening here? We're still researching that. Okay, we can also do that one. We're still building these. Uh, do we have a leader slot? No, we don't. Uh, we are receiving a transmission from the Kormatha... What? Cormathanian, whatever. They, yeah, okay. Hang on. Stratigos Dakalechnus sends regards from the ruling council of the Cormathanian Citizen Coalition. We hope for a productive relationship with your impressive nation, and our military has been instructed to treat all members of your species with respect. Scheduled termination postponed. Target identified, seek and destroy. Ah, uh, sure. Okay, so we have found our next boundary. Okay, they are suspicious. Do we have... Because that should have finished, Construction right? Construction complete. Okay, mining station. Let's go... Yes. Okay. Running out of ways to make money. Well, alloys, not money. I really want to do this. System survey complete. The box is indeed a document of a sort. Science officer admits that they have been hoping for a historical record or some other kind of codex significant to whatever culture left it behind but they were disappointed true nature of the aromatic box seems to be a collection of fairly short narratives which going by the rapid changes in odor towards the end of each sequence are intended to surprise or be interpreted as comedic the techniques used to store and reproduce specific smells is of some interest but the tales it tells are not 
The crew of the 489 Researcher 3 are left with the uncomfortable feeling that they have unwittingly become intimately familiar with what certain gaseous byproducts of alien digestion smell like. However, Soffant 3X1 is unwilling to speculate as to why the box was dumped on this frozen hellscape of a planet. Interesting. The awareness of the Jubarian society in the Avaconian system has increased to partially aware. Okay. Um, oh, we have 200 alloys now. Hang on. Now we don't. Okay. You're finished. Uh... Yeah, we're all lacking alloys now, aren't we? Alright. Can you move there? Okay, science ship. Um, let's go and do what? Okay, we'll keep surveying. See what that does. And you, I want you. Uh, go and do. Do the anomaly first, then we'll do the excavation, I guess. to equivalent. That's not good. Special project complete. Space Mabro is usually accompanied by a handful of semi-independent flagellia used for defense and object manipulation. The amoeba and its flagellin do not share a mind. The former instead use RNA-laced secretions to program the latter for the execution of tasks of mid middling complexity. Um, retrieve some tissue samples. Evasion plus five percent. I generally don't use the regenerative whole tissue. I'm gonna do that one. Oh, no. See now it says they're back to inferior. Confused. We need to think about making a move soon. I would have liked to have strengthened this fleet up fully I mean I can sell some this can't buy much construction complete Okay, oh jeez. Move over there. All right, we've got too many things. Uh, the 489 Researcher 3 crew has succeeded in isolating a signal embedded within an unusual pattern of interference in the Oprakuk system. The signal is a song, a complex sonification of an advanced mathematical equation to be precise, and one that science officer Sofan 3X1 cannot seem to get out of their head. Who or what may have composed this song remains unknown. 
though its complexity infers an incredible level of technological sophistication regarding subspace harmonics, the signal's geodesic suggest a point of origin from outside our galaxy. Uh, okay, so you're done. There's some credits there. I'll build a mining station there, please. Um, so you could go and do a more difficult one. We have detected the presence of a pre-FTL alien proto-civilization on Ritvika 1-2 in the Rit Rituvika system. Our probes show that their Neolithic culture has mastered fire and developed a rudimentary spoken language, but we have yet to see any evidence of metallurg metallurgy or written communication. Uh, we should consider building an outpost. Yes, well, we will. Probably. Uh, we've made first contact. Oh, that's good, but annoying. I've got to take someone out now. Um, which one? Wait. Hang on. Head away. Oh, it'd be nice if I knew which spy network. Okay, there's that one there. That's the purple one. So if we're thinking of destroying them, maybe we take that one out. Keep spying on the others. Or, here's a thought. <laughs> Hell. Oh. Okay, our spies are not very good yet. Okay. Uh, let's, yeah, we ain't going to be spying. All right, let's do it. All right, how are we going? Come on. Construction complete. Okay, what? Of course, it all costs. Um, okay. Uh, jeez. Uh, two gun batteries? And we can't afford it. All right, we'll get that built. Um, <laughs> orbital bombardment damage plus twenty, ship fire rate plus ten. Ship build speed plus 25%, ship build cost minus 10. Let's go with that one. Construction complete. System survey complete. Okay, the dimensional portal of Vilth Prime seems to lead to a realm which is opposed to the sapient mind on a fundamental level. Any and all contact with material from this dimension causes intense 
uh, suffering in the subject, which if continued for more than a few minutes leads to intense suicidal urges coupled with attempts to man mutilate their sensory organs. Even simple studying, study data recorded in the strange dimension causes intense discomfort in the biological observer and cascading errors in the computer systems. Find a way to close the portal or study the portal. Situation log adjusted. Um, okay, I guess we'll do it. Okay, what's happening? You're doing nothing now. Wait. Okay. Go back there. Technological acquisition successful. Um, let's go with the coil gun. That's going to be annoying because they're going to now fly back, aren't they? Oh, you're going to go to there. That, that's not too bad. Hagawatha 3 is a near perfect environment for the evolution of life. Its bountiful natural resources are a fertile home for a staggering variety of flora and fauna. Within this paradise science unit, Sophia. Sofont K68 has discovered a proto society of intelligent toxic one that could prove an excellent candidate for rapid evolution okay the very geological structure of Abrez 2 is indeed in flux driven by what science officer Sofont 3X1 assures us is a tectonic process as fascinating as it is esoteric what is of more interest to the XT489 Eliminator is that we may be able to strategically halt the planet's ceaseless chaotic self-transformation, in short a near instant stabilization of the planet into something slightly if not entirely more habitable is theoretically possible. Safant 3X1 estimates that an additional 200 energy credits will be needed to power, power a thorough mapping of planetary activity and determine the validity of what the science officer has termed a surgical terraforming strike. Actual terraforming lies beyond our grasp at present, so this is an exciting opportunity. To study its natural processes or given the 200 credits. Ah, sure, it's a 50-50 chance. Oh, God, that was quick. Uh, science officer Savant 3X1 reports that Abraz 2 can indeed be terraformed. A narrow window of opportunity is expected to open shortly as the planet enters a particularly unstable phase of its cycle, lasting a couple of months. Savant 3X1 believes that miniaturized explosive charges delivered to the planet's crust and strategic irradiation of the atmosphere during this time will halt Abraz 2's tumultuous changes and stabilize it in a form somewhat more suitable for sustaining life. A special project has been issued, but we do not have much time. Situation log adjusted. Okay, we have a science ship there. Where where is it? Cruising planet. That's there. Um, you're still investigating something else. No, you're about to. Okay, so switch over to the project. Are we almost done here, guys?
No, it looks like I built a lot of people. Okay, if I send, uh, if I change their fleet stance to aggressive, the fleet will automatically follow friendly military fleets and invade hostile planets if the odds of success are favorable. Okay. Let's just keep making some more. Uh, we Special might leave that complete. for the next video because we've pretty much run out of time anyway. Um, Science Officer Savant 3X1 is proud to report that Abras 2 can now be reclassified as an arid rather than barren planet. This grand experiment has greatly enriched the XT489 sciences. Very nice. We don't have a lot of resources because we are spending them all. Um, oh, so you did that. Okay, so go back to that project. Yeah, all right. Um, so I'm thinking... This guy's still coming back. They're still upgrading. Okay, yeah. So I'm thinking in the next video, we will be looking at, uh, yeah, doing something here. Now, do I? No, I think we just wait. It's a bit annoying. We've just got construction ships doing nothing. Well, not you. You're doing that, but you got to pick and choose what you can do. So anyway, we're going to leave it there because we ran out of time. If you like the channel and you want to support it further, check the description below. There's a link to a Patreon site. There's also a YouTube thank you button down there. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, please do consider it. It helps the channel out immensely and I really do appreciate the support. Most importantly, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the game. Feel free to give me any tips, tricks, advice, all that sort of stuff. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. You know, tell me things I can improve, all that sort of good stuff. Let me know if you're enjoying the game, watching it, playing it, whatever. Are you playing it? Do you still play it? Do you still love it? Let me know your thoughts, opinions. I read all the comments, answer every comment as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.